Hey there, matchmakers. Welcome to step four, how to use your hamburger menu. Um, so we're going to jump right into it. So here we are at our dashboard. We've already become a matchmaker. We've already passed some of our other steps. So now we're going to use this little hamburger menu in the top left, which is like, you know, bread, hamburger, bread, but that's what we call it. When you open this, there's a lot of things you can do. You can choose to log out, log out of the pro platform. You can edit your intro. This is where you can change any of your vitals, your virtues, or your vices, any of the specific stuff that you might have entered before. You can even go into your profile settings. Here, you could change the photo that you have on your profile, update your email address, update your gallery, uh, and even some more stuff. So you can go in here to your gallery. You can delete some of your photos and add new images. All of that's possible. Um, then we can actually go to your availability, and I think I missed this in the last training, but basically on Cupid, as a matchmaker, people can book meetings with you, especially if they want to hire you, they want to meet. So you'll set the times that are convenient for you. So you could do something like Thursday, for example, you would say, let's say I want to be available from noon until 4 p.m., right? Let's do 4.30. If you click over here, you can just change it to 4 p.m., but let's just go to 4 p.m. So I'd save, and when I click save, it adds it here. You can see noon to 4 p.m. at the bottom. I could also delete that immediately, so it's gone, uh, and that should be just fine. So now I have that uh, availability. This is my availability. Let's understand how that works a little bit. So when you say 2 to 4 p.m. on Wednesday, that's actually going to be uh, four slots, so a 2 p.m., a 2.30, a 3 p.m., and a 3.30. All the meetings on Cupid, all the dates on Cupid are always 30 minutes. So whenever you're trying to understand what this means, that's how we break it out. Next, um, feedback actually just sends us a little message. We much prefer you to use Discord. So send us your messages on Discord with, you know, what's going on, what's the issue, how can we help you, and that helps us do a better job uh, servicing you as matchmakers. Your invite we already covered earlier, but let's just go back to it again. Remember, this is your unique link that we can track, and you can share this with someone else, and then you get rewards on the platform. You get more visibility, you get more potential clients. So using your invite, that's where you can find it there. Stripe payments. So if I click this, it's going to take me straight to Stripe. I'm not going to do that, uh, but this is where you'll be able to see your payouts, all your information, update your banking information, all that good stuff. Some other not-so-fun things are terms and conditions and privacy policy. You can click those and read them if you'd like. You can click here to join our Discord server. So if you're not already on our Discord server, please join us there. You can get live chat and live support from our team. You get updates, you get invites to training, all kinds of things there. One other really useful thing is to view my profile. If you want to see the way you look, this is what your profile looks like. So you can see information on here. Maybe some of this information is wrong. And so if you want to update it, you can go back to your hamburger menu. But you can go click through, see some, how your photos look. This is how you're going to look to someone else. So it's pretty clear, um, and you can also see the client that you have. So this is what it looks like for someone else to see your profile. Next, we have, um, we're going to remove this conducted dates review history because it actually lives in the CRM now, so ignore that. The next piece is support. So if you click support, what this is going to do, it's going to pop up this little chat. Now, this is actually a live chat we have in app. Oh, look, it's not working. Great. So usually it's a live chat and app, but you should be able to chat us. Um, we'd probably suggest just using Discord. It's going to be your easiest solution. But once that live chat is working again, which I hope it'll work later today, um, this you can actually chat directly with our team. So we have two ways to provide support, Discord and Intercom. That's what this little thing is. Now, this little thing will follow you everywhere you go, and it gets super annoying. So what you do is you go back to your hamburger menu, you scroll down, and you click support again, and then it's gone. So you don't have to talk to it. And that's always a real person. Um, usually we're Monday through Friday is when we have some support teams. Finally, we have delete account. If you press this and you press this, yes, we lose 100% of data that's ever happened. Um, and we don't have a great solution right now for what happens to your clients. We probably reassign them to someone else. So be conscious of that when you're using your hamburger menu. Don't click around accidentally and delete yourself. So that is the hamburger menu. Uh, and we'll get into a little bit more on your next training.